Well hey guys and welcome back to another top 5 and today we have a top 5 best shooters of 2012 so at number 5 we have Medal of Honor Warfighter rating this as a 3 so the advantages and the disadvantages I'll be talking about of Medal of Honor and the advantages of Medal of Honor is the awesome graphics that contains in the game the graphics are HD wonderful textures see each detail look at the brick see the details of the bricks amazing however there are some disadvantages and it does get boring after a while you know online not that great but the campaign mode is absolutely brilliant it, if you enjoy playing campaign and you don't really care about online games then this game will be alright for you you know but if you only play online don't really care about campaign then you ain't gonna enjoy this game and there's no point buying it and that's mainly the reason it's a three isn't it see this is the campaign mode of Medal of Honor Warfighter see the amazing animation that the guy did he did a shotgun shot the door and then you just shot the guys inside the house it's pretty cool the weapons are great real realistic however it's just that the online disappoints me and also it just gets boring that's the other disappointment you know you don't want a game and buy it and then after a while you, you complete everything and then just get bored playing online online's a feature for unlimited things you know makes the game unlimited you can't stop playing the game you know but this game you'll just just you'll just stop so uh, let's move on to uh, number four and at number four we have Sniper Elite. Now this is a little montage that I just made. It's the kill cam, and uh, the kill cam makes the game very unique, and that's why it's above Medal of Honor. This guy's testicles being blown up, as well as his legs. This game is quite good, you know. Not just the kill cam. But the campaign mode and the online mode are pretty cool. But the disappointment thing is, is that if you don't enjoy just snipering, then you're not going to really enjoy this game, are you? This game's snipering, especially the campaign modes. But the online mode, it's it's like Call of Duty, if you want to say that, you know. And it is third person, so you can see the whole body, so it's not... A FPS game, as you can see from the gameplay. <laughs> the campaign's pretty nice. So let's move on to number three. And coincidentally, we have Battlefield 3. And the amazing thing is, is online. Online is spectacular. Also, the campaign, the graphics are awesome. The, I love driving around vehicles like these trucks, flying the planes, helicopters, tanks. The maps are just great. They're so big. And this is a game that you won't get bored of, such as Call of Duty, uh, not Call of Duty, Medal of Honor. The campaign mode, it's it's amazing. It's got a nice storyline to it. The cam, the multiplayer. What makes it unique and different to like Black Ops Two and the others is that you can pick the map. You can pick different types of gameplay. Well, like team deathmatch and stuff like that instead of just joining a lobby and playing maps that you don't really like so this is a good game to have I really recommend this game it's amazing I'm still playing the campaign modes however the updates are quite big so that's disappointments so this is a campaign mode and this tests you your ability of playing FPS so that's Battlefield 3 rating it as a 4 Moving on to number two. And number two, we have Dead Island, rating it as a five, with its amazing guts coming out of the bodies. Look at that leg, squirting blood everywhere. Warning, if, you're, if you don't like blood, this game's not suitable for you. You know, it was a lot of gore. But some people like gore, you know. I find it funny, especially this one. You know, beating zombies up, zombies coming at you. Well, anyway, 
let's talk about the game. The game, it's, you could tell by its title, Dead Island. You're on an island, and they're basically dead, apart from the zombies, so they're half dead. And the you have to basically survive. You get XP for the uh, kills. And the map, it's very, very big. Nice graphics. But I don't think there is an online mode to it. But, you know, this is the campaign is just very good. And uh, moving on to number one, I think you basically guessed, well, you could guess, and you probably got it right. And it's Black Ops 2. And this is a five-star rating. Due to its loads of game mode, you know, you've got this multiplayer online, you can play against people around the world. You can play with your friends, zombies. Like so. And there's like lots of different features to it. The campaign modes got better. The nice storyline to it. It's futuristic, something different than the other games. And it's just really fun to play. It's a game that you'll never get bored with. Trust me, guys. There's always something to do on Black Ops or any Call of Duty.